All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Multiplex Movie Melee. Uh, we got ourselves uh, another singles match here today. We got Anthony Tisdall going up against uh, Jeremy Potters. I got Dylan here with me. Uh, Dylan, what kind of match do you think we got here today? I think it should be a really good one. Uh, we have two competitors that I'm sure are uh, very hungry going into this. Uh, just Both of them are one below 500, hoping to get back to that 500. Uh, and yeah, I know uh, they're both very strong players, way stronger than their records would suggest. Like Anthony, uh, he's had a bit of a string of bad luck recently, but he's on the, I'd say he's on the upswing after his last match against Jordan Hoffman. He put in a very good performance there. And uh, Jeremy had a, re a really good showing in that uh, bit massive uh, uh, like title picture that we had last season for the four-way uh, four uh, championship match. He had a good run in there, and I'm excited to see what he does in this match today. Yeah. Uh, certainly, uh, both players think chopping it a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring a Jeremy in first. And, uh, wait, does he end? Okay, and Scott. Okay. Guys, uh, how you doing today? We're good. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to managing Jeremy. I, I'm going for the faceless, uh, look today. I think the last time that I managed Jeremy and I was faceless, y'all like one by KO or something. So I'm doing this, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm superstitious, you know, I'm like Robert De Niro <laughs> and silver linings playbook. I'm turning all my remotes to the same direction, but no excited for the match. Uh, Anthony's a good player. He kicked my ass really badly one time. So I'd like for you to win today, Jeremy, if that's okay. I mean, I'm going to do my best. Uh, Anthony is one of the top players. I think his ranking doesn't, indicated and he'll tell you that much i mean he loves how good he is a trivia he won't tell you he's bad or overrated or he shouldn't be higher ranked than somebody else he'll never say that so <laughs> yeah let's have fun this is gonna be a good match we're not falling for your tricks anthony that's right <laughs> all righty i'll take you out scott i'm bringing oh, bringing uh, your opponent and anthony and his manager will uh <sighs> guys so uh I'm, you know, I'm, I'm great being, you know, I feel great being in Anthony's corner, you know, uh, you know, all props to, you know, Jeremy and uh, the, the big floating Skittle, that's his manager. Uh, we're getting, we're going to have, you know, we're going to have some fun. Uh, Anthony is 100% far better than what he will ever tell you he is. Um, and I think that's the reason why I'm, you know, he brought me in here because I know all about you know, I know all about self-deprecation. He's been stealing my act for a long time. So I'm going to take all of his self-deprecation, throw it out the window and say, Tiz, you're going to do a good job. Tiz, say something. I, I don't know. I feel I'm off. I'm off right now. Normally, I don't have sleeves. Now I have more sleeves than I've ever had in a match in the past year and a half. Uh, I literally ran back from a work day I wasn't even supposed to have. But Jeremy's really good. Jeez. He's good. He's really good. I know this. He's a good guy, too. So this, I know this is going to be fun. He is better than me. I shouldn't be higher ranked. Everything he said is accurate. Not a lie. He's better. But this is, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get this going. Because uh, I'm going to go to sleep. It's always a, a weird match when uh, neither player thinks that they're good. And I guess, you know, <laughs> we'll just have to see who's better at being good uh, by Will. Who's worse at being bad? And uh, to go ahead and get started, round number one, we're going to get eight questions, eight general movie categories. So you're going to have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. And at the end of that time, you'll be asked to uh, show, and show and verbalize your answer, get a point for every correct answer. And at the end of – and you don't miss a question, you're going to get a bonus point. You're going to get a bonus question also worth one point. Jesus Christ. Three repeats yeah, and a challenge. Match. Yeah. I guess anything else. For... Let's do this. All right. All right. You look good. Sorry, your first question, the category of action adventure. Who directed Die Hard? <sighs> Is it? Very straight to the point. I like it. No nonsense question here. Nope. We're all out of nonsense. We, I think we, uh, I we reached our... to try and tra challenge this question. Maybe. <laughs> Be very quick. Uh, five, <laughs> four, three, two, uh, one. Pens down. Uh, Anthony. I don't really know. John McTiernan, maybe? Just 
Okay, and Jeremy. Oh yeah, I don't really know. John McTiernan, maybe. <laughs> John McTiernan's correct. I suck at directors. I actually didn't know. <laughs> Your next question will come in the category of crime. In 1974's The Taking of Pelham 123, the hijackers used what for code names? This is a good movie. It is. Yeah. 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 You're okay yeah. on it? I, you know, I, I, I saw the remake, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> different time. <laughs> One. Pens down. Let's go to Jeremy. Uh, colors. Okay, Anthony. Colors. Colors is correct. Going to your next question, the category of horror. In The Strangers, the couple is coming from what type of event at the beginning of the film? Have you seen the sequel to this movie? I have. I actually like it more. Mm. Ooh, interesting. I think Five. it's Four. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Pins down. Uh, let's go to Anthony. They come from a wedding. And Jeremy. Is it a wedding? It is a wedding. So uh, both stay perfect after three. And your next question will come in the category of Oscars. Not oh, fuck. For films released in 2011, name one of the two films that tied for the most Oscar wins that year. Fuck yeah, that's, out in 2011. that's my reaction whenever this category comes up. So, uh, and how you feel? Ass category. It's a, basically a made-up award where a bunch of people just pick a movie. Uh, I'm just, I just pissed off a lot of people Preach. in the background. I know. Preach. <laughs> um, no one on screen. You pissed off. I can get yeah. that. <laughs> the fuck came out in 2011. <laughs> Pick the right couple of people to, yeah, to <laughs> yeah bitch, so. about, bitch about the Oscars. <laughs> uh, five. It's just a no. sneaky way to put release dates back in melee. Two. That's One. also true. Hands down. Uh, yeah, let's go to Jeremy. Yeah, uh, Inception. All right, and uh, Anthony. I couldn't tell you a single movie that came out in 2011. Well, I don't know. Uh, oh, they're incorrect. Uh, the correct answer were either Hugo or The Artist. Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Now, going to your next question, the category comedy. What 90s comedy features a woman selling fake drugs at a rave in order to pay her rent? Have you ever done this? You know, yeah. Ahead, like the sorry. early 2000s, you know, were just a rough time for me. You know, just, okay. You know, being 12 and all and having to pay your oh. rent. <laughs> Do we know More. what the statute of limitations is on that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, let's go to Anthony. Is it called Go? And uh, Jeremy. Well, I know why we're playing each other. Is it called Go? <laughs> <laughs> go is correct, and uh, we're still tied after five, four to Yo, four. We're not confident. We're not confident. <laughs> so your next question will come in the category of mystery slash thriller. Who plays the father looking for his child, David Kim, in uh, Searching? Sorry, I read that wrong. Let me do that again. Who plays the father looking for his child, David Kim, in Searching? The child's like, name is not yeah. David Kim. <laughs> I realized I didn't read the question. That's a weird way for that question to be written, I feel like. No, nah, I just read it wrong. It's not on. Go on, right go on. It, You're it better could than be the, the writer's question. fault. You know, don't, the writer. don't let him off the hook. Bye. Yeah, no. Three. Question. Commas are weird. Pens down. Uh, yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, it's odd. Yeah, Jeremy. John Cho. And Anthony. John Cho. Look at that. Five, two, five. Both are correct. Going into your penultimate question in the category yeah. in recent releases. And mm. how to blow up a pipeline. The activists attempt to blow up a pipeline in what U.S. state? Is this the movie? It is. Is this uh, the part I mean, where you drop a plug for uh, the round table? I mean, I the title sounded familiar. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> Here we are. I must have heard it on a Monday. 
Check out the round oh. table. We talked about it recently. <laughs> one. one. Pens down. Uh, yeah, Anthony. There's play blinds in Alaska. Sure. Uh, Germ. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Even both are getting the wrong, uh, incorrect <laughs> answer. You get both the wrong. It's not right. It's not Alaska. It's Texas. It's Texas. Oh, okay. I remember the, the I remember like the actual story about it, but I just don't remember where it was. All right. So then oh, the last goodness. question in round number one will come in the category of actors and actresses. Who has played a sports commentator, an adoptive father, and an attorney in films released in the two thousands? Hmm. Always come on here and never remember how to talk. You That's try awesome. to set up for jokes and it's just like <laughs> just fumbling over everything. Yeah. Hey, don't get pop up. It's fine. Ah, we got plenty of match left. Plenty. At least the last. Not much. Time. Yeah, the, the banter is pretty much done. But <laughs> four, three, two, one, <laughs> bend down. All right, uh, let's go to yeah, Jeremy. Hey, Jason Bateman. Ooh. And Anthony? It's a Josh Dumel. Jason Bateman is correct. Nice. Jeremy taking the first lead of the game. Uh, is the commentator ball. for Dodgeball? Dodgeball? Yeah, it's uh, the movies were Dodgeball, awesome. Juno, and Smoke and Aces. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that, I got, uh, like I said, I got Jeremy at six, Anthony at five. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. Yeah. All righty. Moving on to round number two. Hold on a second. Put that away. Got something, Will? Uh, on that last question, read me that question one more time. Okay. Your question again, who has played a sports commentator, an adoptive father, and an attorney in films released in the 2000s? Were you thinking, did Juno keep the kid or no? No, but he you know, he never adopted the kid. Right, that's I where that's where I'm, that's where I'm going with it. Like the the wife and him separate, and therefore he never adopts the kid. So I'm trying to think if we can challenge that or not. Do you, I mean, do you want to try for it, or do you want to keep the challenge? Dude, I never use challenges because I don't, I I trust the writers. I'm good with that because he got it right, I got it wrong. Maybe I can get my point back. I don't think we're gonna need it later. Yeah, well, yeah, because he, I, that's my thought. That's what I thought when you came in is that he, I don't think he ever actually became the father of the child. Yeah, I want to, I want to challenge, I want to challenge yeah, that sure. the question, oh, that the answer does not fit the, uh, the question then. Sure. Challenge. Be right back after this challenge. All right, uh, we are back after that challenge. Uh, yeah, the, Jason Bateman's character did not actually become an adoptive father in Juno. So the question is wrong. So we have scrapped it, come up with a new actors and actresses question. Uh, we are uh, back to five to five. And um, Anthony uh, will retain his challenge. Now, with the new, now here's the uh, new final question in round number one. Dylan. <clears throat> All right. So your question in the category of actors and actress actresses, sorry. Who has played a train a train engineer, a real life painter, and an astronaut? Just realize I set you up for failure on that. No, that's fine. Need an uh, extra letter there. <laughs> you know, on the last question, we thought we were done with the banter, but we get more. Isn't this great? I do pretty much. The winner is Cat. the audience on that one. Yes. Congratulations, audience. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Hands down. Uh, let's go to Jeremy. Yes. Ooh, that makes sense. And Anthony. I couldn't get Unstoppable out of my head. Uh, Ed Harris is uh, correct. Uh, the movies were Snowpiercer, Pollock, and The Right Stuff. No, uh, no, solid challenge. Nothing changed. So, uh, we're right back at six to five. Is Jeremy at the lead? Uh, I'm assuming that's what you have, Dylan. That is what and, I have, uh, yes. We're just going to go into uh, round number two, which is our wheel round, in which both competitors 
are going to get a chance to spin our wheel today. Uh, they like what they land on the first time. They can keep it. If not, they can elect to spin again. Uh, but uh, if they but whatever they land on the second time, they got to keep it. Uh, they're going to get five questions uh, worth two points apiece, or they can check down to multiple choice for one point. Uh, they're stealing, so everybody watch out for that. Uh, the categories on our wheel today are R rated Robert Rodriguez directed and westerns put on by Jeremy. And post 90s Nicolas Cage and comedy thrown on by Anthony, as well as recent releases, directors, actors, and actresses, mystery thriller, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Uh, Jeremy, you are ahead. Uh, would you like to spin first to defer? Just make that the call it is Scott for you. Uh, defer, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're only about one. I think we should defer, yeah. We'll defer. Uh, move. Let's see how it works out for him. All righty. There you go, Scott. Here's a will. Uh, this is your first spin, Anthony. Yeah, I'm so gl I'm so glad I'm here with two competitors who think they suck. Bye. Oh, look at that. Punish Great start. Bye. Bye, Will. Nice being here. Hello, Scott. Exactly uh, why I wanted uh, to defer. Um, okay. Uh, Westerns, perhaps, uh, Jeremy. I I think we should give him directors. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with that. Let's let's give him directors. Well, hold he on. Hold on. Actually, actually, hold, hold on. on. Okay. I mean, don't you think you would be better stealing on westerns? That's my only thing. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Nobody ever takes westerns if they land on it anyway. So, I mean, do you want to yeah, leave it? Some westerns. Do you want to leave no, it on no there? westerns? Do you want to leave it on there for you though? No, there's plenty of other stuff. Okay, all right, Western. All right, yeah, well, goodbye, Scott. You guys were in a win-win situation there with which one you picked. <laughs> and, uh, and take oh, off. Crap. Uh, ah. Taking off the wheel. All right, uh, Dylan, why don't you give uh, Anthony his question of the Western? Sounds good. All right, Anthony, your first question in the category of Westerns. Mm. Who stars as Sheriff Hunt in Bone Tomahawk? Kurt Russell. Correct for two points. And your next question. What Native American tribe does Kevin Costner's character primarily interact with in the Dances with Wolves? Multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, Comanche, B, Cherokee, C, Sioux, or D, Navajo. So they're all Indian tribes. Oh. Comanche? It's fortunately incorrect. Uh, Jeremy, for the one point steal, is it A, Comanche, B, Cherokee, C, Sioux, or D, Navajo? I think it's the Sioux. That is correct for one, oh. one point steal. That's frustrating. Go with your gut. Right, your third question. Who directed The Wild Bunch? Really? I thought I got away from directors. Um, multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, John Ford, B, Sam Peckinpah, C, Sergio Leone, or D, Howard Hawks. Even I know those are all friggin' Western directors. Um, B. Sorry, can you repeat that? B, B, the second one. That is correct for one point. Cool. Love that for me. All right. So your penultimate question in this category. You'll find the town dirt in what 2010s Western? Oh. <clears throat> Why do I feel like I know this? Multiple right. choice. All right. Your options are A, The Sisters Brothers, B, The Magnificent Seven, C, Rango, or D, A Million Ways to Die in the West. I'm going to go with Sisters Brothers. 
unfortunately incorrect. Uh, Jeremy, for the one-point steal, is it A, the Sisters Brothers, B, the Magnificent Seven, C, Rango, or D, A Million Ways to Die in the West? Rango? That is correct yeah, for the one-point yeah. steal. Between the two. Could have asked me a million ways to die in the West. I knew that one. And your final question in this category... What member of Wesley Quaid's family is the sole survivor of the opening attack in Hostiles? Oh, god damn! I've actually seen this movie. Five, four, three, two. Multiple. One. He probably knows. Your options are A, wife, B, brother, C, son, or D, daughter. Daughter. It's incorrect. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, for the one point steal, is it A, wife, B, brother, C, son, or D, daughter? I watched this once. Um... Son. As also incorrect, we were looking for a wife. I wasn't going to get that one. Ready with that. Um, got an Anthony going to score up to eight. But uh, with those steals, uh, Jeremy is also at eight. Is that the, what you got, Dylan? That's what I got. Yep. Going to round right. three. Bring back up the wheel. And uh, Scott, and uh, this will be Jeremy spin at the wheel. And it lands on actors and actresses. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I mean, we're in a good position here. I feel like you can work through this and get some points. Also, I feel like it's a good wheel, and there's not a lot that can hurt you up there if you took the yeah. risk. But I would lean towards I, mean, keep, I would lean towards keeping it because I don't think we we need to take a risk right now. I think that's like the only way we can lose from this position. All right, let's keep it. Okay, keeping it. Uh, Scott, there at the wheel, and uh, I'll ask your questions and actors and actresses. All right, your first question: Who plays George H. W. Bush in W? No. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Richard Dreyfus, B, Richard Jenkins, C, James Cromwell, or D, Ryan O'Neill. Uh, I'll say B. Uh, B, Richard Jenkins is incorrect. Going over to Anthony for the one point steal. Is it A, Richard Dreyfus, B, Richard Jenkins? C. James Cromwell or D. Ryan O'Neill? I'll go with C. C. James Cromwell is correct for one point. That's a hard question. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot he was in that movie. Uh, All right, your next question. James Stewart stars in what film that was then remade where his role was played by Tom Hanks? The shop around the corner. That is correct for two points. Your next question. Jane Fonda, Maggie Smith, and Elaine May all appear in what 70s comedy? Jane Fonda, Maggie Smith. Multiple choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, The Muppet Movie, C, What's Up, I'm already sorry, A, The Muppet Movie, B, What's Up Doc, C, A New Leaf, or D, California Sweet? Uh, I'll say B again. 
B, what's up, Doc, is incorrect. Going over to Anthony for the one-point steal. Is it A, the Muppet movie? B, what's up, Doc? C, a new leaf? Or D, California Sweet? Haven't heard of two of these, so I'll go with one of the ones I haven't heard of. California Sweet sounds fun. California Sweet is correct for <laughs> one. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Your penultimate question in the category. Gene Hackman and Willem Dafoe co-star in what film? Oh, uh, Mississippi Burning. That is correct for two points. And your final question in the category. Who appears in the films A Matter of Life? Oh, sorry. Who appears in the films A Matter of Life and Death, 1963's The Pink Panther, and 1967's Casino Royale? Peter Sellers? That is incorrect going over to anthony for the two point steal <laughs> yes yeah, sure um who else could possibly be in any of these movies <sighs> who's old i don't know walter Matthau's in a lot that is also incorrect we're looking for david niven david niven yeah yeah yep. oh, okay. okay okay uh with that um uh, with that, I got a Jeremy at 12 and Anthony with the steals getting to score up to 10. Uh, is that what you got, Dylan? That's what I have, yep. All righty. Uh, we'll move on to round number three, which is our new pick your poison round, in which uh, both of our competitors have drafted from our general categories and have put, and have, uh, put eight categories that they would like to answer questions from today. Uh, now we're going to draft from those categories again, in which our competitors are going to get uh, questions asked. So, uh, point values of one, two, three, and four points. Uh, once a, a category is selected, uh, the your opponent cannot answer a question from that category. Um, and also the categories they can pick from today are uh, comic book movies, action adventure, fandom, comedy, westerns, sports, sci-fi fantasy, and family. Our competitors are going to uh, pick... Again, like I said, draft in those categories again, and uh, hopefully we come back. All right, uh, we're back. Our uh, players have drafted their categories, and uh, we're going to start with the uh, player who is behind, and we'll go until we're out of questions or one player has been mathematically eliminated. So like I said, Anthony, you're behind. We'll start with you. Uh, what would you like to take for your one-point question? Mm -hmm. Thinking sports or family, sports or family. What do you think, Will? Sports or family? Type one in the chat. I'll be watching vigorously. Six letters. He said family. Ready? <laughs> yes. Oh, my bad. I'm looking way too high up. That's on me. I'll go family then. I'm an idiot. I was looking at the stuff. All right. I right, got it. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I asked Jeremy's questions in round number two, so I'll ask your questions in round number three. So uh, your first question, one point in sports. Wait. In Mighty Joe Young, what type of animal is Joe? It's a gorilla. That is correct for one point. I got real worried for a second. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, you're still behind, so what would you like to take for your two-pointer? Yep, that's what I was thinking, too. Sports. Sport ball. Sports, so. sports, sports. All righty. Two-pointer in sports. Who plays high school coach Bud Kilmer in Varsity Blues? John Boyd. That's correct for two points. And the lead. And that means we'll go over to Jeremy. Uh, what would you like to take for your one-pointer? Um, yeah. Westerns. All righty. Uh, Dylan. Yep. All right. So your one point question in the category of directors. Who directed and starred in Open Range? Kevin Costner. That is correct for one point. 
I'm, hold on. Okay. Are we using a buzzsaw there? <laughs> no, my computer just went haywire and the movie started. I don't know what it was. Okay. So. <laughs> my bad. Well, with that, uh, Jeremy tied it up, but you got more questions. So, what would you like to take for your two pointer? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'll listen to Scott. I'll take sci fi fantasy. Sci fi fantasy. All right. So your question for two points in sci-fi fantasy. Who directed Scanners? Uh, David Cronenberg. That is correct for two points. Somebody would have been very sad. That would have been. been, so that would have been. <laughs> All right, with that, uh, Jeremy is taking the lead. We'll go back over to Anthony uh, for what you will take in your three-pointer. Um, yeah, I could do that. Like, I'm kind of in between comic book movies and comedy. Comedy threes I've seen gotten tough. So, yeah, let's go comic book movies. Let's do that. All right. Here's your three-pointer in comic book movies. I've heard of them. What is the name of the superhero who upstages Mr. Furious and is ultimately captured by Casanova Frankenstein in Mystery Men? The Sphinx. That is incorrect. We're looking for Captain Amazing. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, that uh, we we'll move on. Yeah, to I get, uh, all right. Any challenge? Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, Will, have you seen this movie? Would you like to bring in Will? Yeah, bring in Will. Have you seen this? I have. Was this can, 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 ever... Yeah. Can you just repeat the question, please? What is the name of the superhero who upstages Mr. Furious and is ultimately captured by Casanova Frankenstein in Mystery Men? Then that is that's the correct answer because Captain what? Amazing is the guy who played by Greg Kinnear, and Greg Kinnear is ca captured Wasn't by Captain Amazing a superhero before Mr. Furious. He's I thought the... he was a superhero before Mr. Furious became a superhero, and the Sphinx came in as a secondary character and that's what made mr furious so pissed because everyone was listening to him now instead of mr furious i i could be wrong but i thought captain amazing was already the big hero and mr furious was already but that but, but that but i think that i think that's the question that they're asking is who upstages him and ultimately gets captured and captain amazing okay. does get captured all right yeah no that's yeah he does that's my problem i know the sphinx also upstages him so that's where my confusion was okay that's cool yeah we're good all right okay, okay. Oh, sorry that's okay all right well uh okay with that no challenge uh, that means uh, uh anthony we gotta stick with you and uh you'll uh, get to uh, your four pointer in comedy and just a reminder you have all three repeats still no oh, dude Use your four pointer in comedy. What is the name of the person the friend group loses in the hangover? Let me just make sure I get this right. Doug. That is correct for four points. Getting a score up to 17. Go mm -hmm. back over to Jeremy who can hit either one of these last two questions to win the game. Jeremy, your three-pointer. What do you want to take? Fandom, please. All right. Take your three-pointer fandom. Dylan. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, your three-point question in the category of fandom, potentially for the win here. What is the profession of Michael Caine's character Hoagie in Jaws the Revenge? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Man, I just have not gotten to it yet. I'll say my repeat and say pilot. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and your winner, Jeremy A. Potters. <laughs> the correct answer was pilot. Uh, put you backstage right now, Jeremy. Uh, Brian, Will, your manager, Anthony. Um, oh, okay. Wow. That 
You know, I got, I got to, I got to be honest with you, Anthony. Um, it felt like you and Jeremy were kind of the same player for yeah. most of this match. Um, you stayed in a lockstep of each other the whole time. Uh, even though I you know, know you said you had no idea, I kind of expected you to get that two point steal at, at the end of uh, Jeremy's turn just to make it tied up again. Yeah, that would have been right. And then, but you know, you you played pretty well, and I think the the only real uh, differential here is like uh, he hit his three pointer and you didn't. But other than that, uh, how do you feel? Uh, I mean, it was fine. I, I stayed close to him in round one. Uh, Will had a great challenge. It wound up not being a thing in the end, but it was a great challenge. Um, I didn't, you know, extras and extras isn't my thing. Uh, I mean, I got opponent's choice. I got Westerns. I got easily the worst thing on that wheel for me with directors being very, very close right behind. Either one, I was F. Um, so I had to fight through that. I fought through it decently. He was tied with me after round two before his round, and I still was able to make it to my four. Um, yeah, I, I feel okay. I mean, Jeremy's a great player, so I'm playing against people that are well above my pay grade, and I kept it close, so it felt good. Um, I don't know, that I, that mystery men one's just gonna irk me. Maybe I should have used a repeat, but when upstage, I don't know, that one kind of caught me. Maybe I could have used a challenge and maybe fought my way into another question, but I heard the four, I was able to hit the four, and he just, um, he guessed on something that's fandom. That I was almost sure he knew immediately. He's like, ah, fuck it. What? It's a pilot. Probably flies a plane. Why not? Because it's Jaws. Why wouldn't you fly a plane when you're on the water? But, you know, he did great. He played awesome. Uh, and he deserves the win. And I wish him the best going forward. He's a good dude. Yeah. Uh, the, th the thing about our faction is our faction is filled with uh, very knowledgeable people who have no confidence in ourselves. That's just kind of, that just seems to be our shtick. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why An you know, Anthony brought me into the faction because, <laughs> you know, I'm also extremely self-deprecating, but I know stuff. Uh, so being in Anthony's corner was great. Uh, as he said it, he had the worst case scenario. He easily got one of his worst categories uh, in round two, Worked his way through it, and he still kept it. You know, he still kept it to a one-point game. So, when when your when your opponent is just pulling an answer out of their ass, there's nothing you can do about that. But of course, you know that's also our shtick: just randomly pulling questions out of our asses. Yeah. So, uh, Anthony, uh, I think my only thing for you: uh, you had all three repeats. Use them next time. That's all I I'm going to say. Get Captain Amazing. I'll be honest; I forgot. No, that's started. fair. But. Uh, Dude, you put you played a great game. You played a vastly better game than you're going to give yourself credit for. That's true. I do that surprisingly amount of times. <laughs> well, well, Anthony, uh, I'm sure we'll see you again. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I certainly hope you don't <laughs> kick me out for an entire year. It's February, but you know, you guys do you. I like, get fine. You don't want me back. You don't want me back. It's cool. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I, I just work here, but you know. <laughs> You know, if if you when you come back, who do you want to play? Oh, I have some. I have Abel. some options. I want to play Abel and just have a fucking chaos match. Let's get that. If you, so, Anthony, if you're gonna pick someone in the faction, I want you and Bill to play each other. Because oh, both, oh, because man. because <laughs> both of you will just just ho hum, ho hum, and then both of you just keep pulling up correct answers. I want to see that. I, I, I want to see that chaos 100%. I'm for either. Yeah, one is like more just general chaos, and one is very much drunken chaos. So or, take your poison. Or really, like the person I really want to see you play, actually, uh, I want to see you and Zach Shelton play. I think that would be really amazing, too. I don't know if they do the fuck of that. So, oh, but I do know. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Thanks, guys. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's see in the cards. Uh, thank you for coming today, Anthony, and thank you, Will. Now we're bringing your winner today, uh, Jeremy Potters, with his manager Scott Harvey. Uh, Jeremy, um, yeah. there was at least a once or twice throughout this match where you did kind of <laughs> mock uh, Anthony for you know maybe nonchalantly you know knowing an answer that you that he's like maybe he didn't think he knew and then you know you end off the game by doing exactly that um otherwise well, no he <laughs> he goes i don't know is it john mcteer yeah come on and i was like i'm pretty sure like they fly to the bahamas and i think he's the one that flies i haven't seen this movie in 20 years so i just said pilot i didn't want to waste my repeats but i do that sometimes i mean you know 
Well, I pull, I pull shit out of my ass. That's how it Dogs is. of Revenge is now good for two things. Number one, the house it bought Michael Caine. And number two, uh, winning this match for Jeremy. Uh, whether he knew it or not, it was, a, it was a good educated guess. Sometimes you need those. And uh, yeah, it was a good match. Good win for, for Jeremy. I knew because the match was so tight that if we could get any type of lead going into the last round, it was probably going to be good for us. Maybe we could have spun again on the wheel, but you got the lead and, you know, you hit all your questions uh, in round three. And so uh, you yeah. took care of business. And, and that was so much fun. Like we are, if you had like an all nineties league, me and Tiz would probably team up and just dominate. Like we, we are about the same age. We grew up watching the same stuff. We enjoy a lot of the same stuff and it shows like, yeah, but great competitor, great guy. And then there's Will. He was here. So. All righty. Well, yeah. um, this does uh, pull you back to 500. You're five and five now. Uh, so uh, definitely going to bring him back bro, uh, sooner rather than later. Um, who uh, Who's that going to be? Who are you hoping it is at the very least? Hmm. Um, that's a good question. Anybody who hasn't unretired. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll have to reach deep in our back to find one of those. Uh, thank you for coming here, uh, Jeremy and Scott. Uh, Dylan, this is a very interesting match. It, yeah. it had, had a bit of a we weird and wild finish, but uh, put a bow on this one for us. Yeah, uh, great match, honestly. Yeah, like a uh, high scoring affair, 18 17. That's a great score for both competitors. Uh, back and forth, which is something you really like to see. Yeah, they really they really showed just how evenly matched uh, they are. And yeah, it was a very entertaining match overall and a great win for uh, Jeremy uh, for once not, uh, not going to uh, sudden death. So good for him. <laughs> a lot of his wins are in sudden death, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, good match. Uh, yeah, don't I know it? Jeremy went in <laughs> sudden death. What a thing. Uh, with that, that'll do it for our episode of Multiplex Movie Melee. Uh, thank you to our competitors today. Uh, uh, Anthony Tisdall and Jeremy. Jeremy Potters. I don't know why I left off your last name there. That was weird. And managers today, Will Cohen, Scott Harvey, and uh, as well as everybody here at Multiplex keeps the show going. And then lastly, Thank you, Dylan. Most of me. I was here. Everybody, be well. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll like? Bye-bye.